Following the 2022 NFL season, we have the biggest news of the summer so far, as 13 teams have revealed new uniforms and helmets for the new season. This season, teams have unveiled new designs, from a few classics to alternate, which would be difficult to recognize at first glance, but we've got you covered. Here's a ranking of the new NFL jersey and helmet sets for 2022. First up, the Washington Commanders. We appreciate Washington Commanders for making an effort to stand out, but this is simply ineffective. There is a reason why team logos are almost never found on the front of a helmet helmet rather than on the sides. Additionally, this brand doesn't need to ditch the burgundy and gold. No matter their mascot, it's their classic familiar look. Second, Chicago Bears Alternate. The Bears orange jerseys are always good to see once or twice a year, but adding an orange helmet to go with the orange jersey just feels like a lot of orangey. The set might look comparatively better on the pitch, but a white helmet with the Bear logo would have been the perfect option. It does look fresher than the rest of the helmets though. And then there's the New York Jets. The New York Jets could have won fans over with the classic retro set, but instead, they chose to pair a black helmet with the black color rush jersey. It's the first time that the Jets will don black helmets in NFL history. And now for the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, so this isn't a bad look, but was it necessary? The Eagles' iconic green helmet worked great with the alternate black jersey. The one new jersey everyone in Philadelphia wants to see is the Kelly Green throwback, which is most likely dropping next year. Fans weren't screaming for an alternative black helmet, and if this happens, the Eagles might be at the top of this list next season. Now we have the New Orleans Saints. With a black helmet that matches any of their three jerseys, the Saints made some moves changing their colors to black, white, and white color rush. Only once in the team's history in a preseason game in 1969 has New Orleans sported a black helmet. The Saints at least included the small logos to give it some character, as most teams with an alternate black helmet simply change their primary color to black. Next up, the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers unveiled a black alternate helmet after wearing silver helmets exclusively since their NFL debut in 1995. Although the black logo clashes with the black background, the overall look is not that bad as it goes well with any of their three jerseys. Perhaps a white or blue helmet would have matched the Panthers logo better, but nonetheless, the helmet looks dope. Next up, the Arizona Cardinals. Speaking of teams who need a new attire, let us introduce you to the Cardinals. Arizona's appearance has grown stale, with the primary red helmet mixing in with the all red bird logo. These new black helmets stand out because the logo now actually stands out when it is set against a black background, which is why they are new. The black helmets simply won't go away, do they? These helmets will be worn with black alternate and color rush sets. Guess it's time to embrace the darkness. Also, the Houston Texans. The Texans introduced their brand new battle red helmet, which will be worn against the Eagles on November 3rd, but it does appear durable enough to be worn more regularly than that. The Texans jersey are in desperate need of some punch. Since the team's creation in 2002, Houston hasn't once upgraded the uniform, but in 2022, they will finally add a fresh new helmet. The new battle red helmet stands out without any doubt, but the jerseys still need to be refreshed. The Texans red alternate jersey and the new helmet will be paired together in the upcoming season. And now for the New York Giants. The New York Giants will be donning their 80s, 90s jerseys for two games this season. Even if wearing a different shade of blue for your helmet and jersey doesn't make much sense, the Giants managed to make it work. We can't say, but it may or may not be related to New York winning two Super Bowls while sporting this combo. The jersey is plain, all blue with red and white trim, but in this case, plain is ideal. Also, the Atlanta Falcons. For one regular season match this year, the Falcons will don their red throwback helmets in addition to their black throwback uniforms. Since 2016, the Falcons have rotated between wearing a black helmet and a black throwback jersey, making an outdated throwback. But now that the appearance is correct, it looks lovely. The all-black jersey finally looks good with the red helmet and vintage Falcon. Unlike the Patriots, nobody would object if this was Atlanta's regular uniform. And there's the Dallas Cowboys. At number three, we have the Dallas Cowboys who are reintroducing their vintage helmets for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving throwback for the Cowboys from 2004 to 2012 has finally returned. Dallas used to sport a white helmet with a navy star before switching to its current design of silver helmets. The Cowboys will wear navy jerseys with white shoulders and a navy star to go with the retro helmet. And there's the Cincinnati Bengals. At number two, we have the Cincinnati Cincinnati Bengals, who will be donning an alternate white Bengal helmet throughout the upcoming season. It seems like people have been making Photoshop images of these helmets for years. The white set is now a reality. If Cincinnati keeps winning, this alternative style might end up becoming a staple for Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase over the following few years. The Bengals' primary color must be orange for obvious reasons, but the alternates can also prove to be very successful. Lastly, the New England Patriots. And at number one, we have the New England Patriots. 
Since the Pat Patriot look is iconic, it should just be their full-time jersey. The design is literally flawless, from the clean white helmet to the stunning red jersey. New England fans will recall these throwbacks nicely, as their fond memory was Tom Brady donning them in 2009 while obliterating the Titans 59-0 in a snowy field. In other related news, Heath Miller and other Pittsburgh legends were announced as Hall of Honor class. The Steelers made the announcement as part of Pittsburgh's Back Together Saturday event, which saw the addition of four new people to their Hall of Honor. Tight end Heath Miller, offensive guard Sam Davis, halfback right end Ray Matthews, and broadcaster Myron Cope are the four new members of Pittsburgh's historical past. According to the Steelers president, Art Rooney II, quoted on the team's website, they start the Hall of Honor with the understanding that there would be players and others who wouldn't be recognized in Canton but deserve this kind of honor. And in terms of individuals who made significant contributions, he believes this group definitely matches that definition. They wanted to guarantee that individuals like this were acknowledged. Miller, the honoree who retired most recently after the 2015 season spent 11 years with the Steelers after being drafted in the first round of the 2005 draft. He was a member of the Super Bowl 40 and 43 winning teams and received two Pro Bowl nominations. His 168 regular season games were played to represent a team record for a tight end. Heath Miller retired with 592 receptions, 6,569 receiving yards, and 45 touchdowns in his career. Up next, Chiefs Frank Clark credits diet changes. Last season, Clark started started all 14 games, recorded 4.5 sacks and two forced fumbles, and had the fewest sacks since his first year with the Seattle Seahawks. He only had seven tackles and zero sacks in the three playoff games he played last year, but he did record a tackle for loss and recovered a fumble. In order to go back to the form that saw him as one of the major contributors to the Chiefs' run to the Super Bowl at the end of the 2019 season, Clark knew he'd have to make a few changes to his lifestyle this summer. The two biggest adjustments, according to Clark, were giving up alcohol and cutting red meat from his diet. Since at least 2018, when he was a player for the Seahawks, Clark had experienced persistent stomach problems, and he recognized their likely cause when they returned this offseason. A stronger sense of responsibility to the family also encouraged such dedication. Clark was motivated to improve himself to show his family proper behavior. He claimed he had been drinking excessively for years and had been for years. And lastly, NFL streaming service launches for the new season. The National Football League now has its own streaming service. They are launching NFL Plus for $4.99 per month or $39.99 per year. All out-of-market preseason games, which were previously only viewable with an NFL Game Pass subscription for $99.99 per year, will be included in a subscription. The Jacksonville Jaguars take on the Las Vegas Raiders to open the NFL preseason on August 4, but the game won't be on NFL Plus as it will be televised nationwide. Additionally, NFL Plus will offer live mobile device access to the regular season and postseason local and primetime games that were previously free on the Yahoo! Sports app. NFL Plus is the first time the NFL has run its own streaming service, providing the organization with a potential new platform for the future broadcast of exclusive games. That's all for this video. What do you think about teams donning alternate and classic jersey sets for the new season? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time.